Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to find the LCM using the prime factors method. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given two numbers, 15 and 18, and we want to find the LCM of them using the prime factors method. First, we want to find the prime factors of each one of these numbers. 15 is first. 15. 15, well, actually, or equal to. 15, the prime factors, is equal to, well, a 3 times 5. The two prime numbers that multiply to be a 15. What about 18? 18 is a little more difficult. 18 being 6 times a 3, and 6 is 2 times a 3. So 18 is a 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 is 18. We got our prime factors here. Now what do we do with them? Well, we're going to make them kind of like in some columns. I'll write 15 first, and 18 underneath it. Well, 18 is 2 times 3 times a 3, and 3... Yeah, sorry, <laughs> got thrown off by the prime factors of 18. 3 times a 5 is a 15, so I'm going to write them in a column here. 3 times a 5. Okay. Now I have 2, 3, 3, 5. I lined up the columns. Now this 3 could have been here. It doesn't matter. You just have to make sure you lined up when you have them. Now we're going to go down. We have a, I'll say LCM, is equal to 2. We have 1, 3 here. These combine to just be 1, 3 and then a 5, right there. Notice I have them being multiplied though. So again, lined up, if it's duplicated, we just bring only one down. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. What does that equal? Well, well, let's go through it here if I can think through, right? 3 times a 5 is a 15, times a 2 is a 30, times the other 3 is a 90. And so the LCM of 15 <laughs> I said 15 wrote 18. 15 and 18 is a 90. So we use the, well, what is it, the prime factors method to find the LCM of two numbers, 15 and 18, and got a 90. Hope you learned something here on how to find the LCM using the prime factors method. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to your YouTube channel, and let people who know who might need some help about this channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.